everybody. My name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a continuation of my art, um, my, my past art that I drew as a kid. Um, and I realized, I was looking through these two books, I realized this one started in 1996, so kind of a continuation along with the first book I showed. If you guys haven't seen the first video, I'll link it if you want to take a look. Um, this was a book given to me by my um, cousin by marriage, who I had a crush on. <laughs> I talked about him in the previous video. His name was Balaj. So if he watches this, which I highly doubt, this is a shout out to my cousin, but or my ex-cousin, I guess. Um, and um, yeah, he bought me this for, I think it was my birthday one year. And well, I, I actually never finished the book. So a lot of the pictures in this book, some of it were from the, the Learn How to Draw book that I um, had drawn a lot of pictures from in the first video I showed. Um, but also a lot of like fun and like silly things in here because I, you know, art is also about expression, but it's also about having fun and enjoying doing something fun. So let's get started. So it's so worn because like I suggest if you ever get a drawing book, get one that has a coil binding so that you don't have to come across this problem. <laughs> so again, this was just um, some shading and light playing around with the drawing book. Same thing. This is like a wheel hub. I thought it was a wheelbarrow when I was a kid, but it's actually a wheel hub. So like in the old vehicles, they use these wooden um, and then you attach a wheel here and a wheel here. And that's what they use on wagons or cars or something maybe back in the day. Not cars, probably wagons. Okay, then this was the teddy bear. I had to redraw him because the leg was bugging me in the first video. Um, this is supposed to be a sparrow. But yeah, it does say June 7th, 1996. And I, I believe I got this for my birthday of March 30th, 1996 is when I got it. Okay, this was playing around with some charcoal and some, um, my blender. This was another horse drawing. And then here is kind of where I had some fun. <laughs> um, I became obsessed with eyes after a while, so I drew a lot of eyes. And then I was also using my pencils that were technically watercolor pencils, so I don't really know why I was um, wasting them on this, but that's what I did. Okay, just having some fun. I think my hand, my hand hasn't really grown. Oh, it's a little bit bigger than what it was. Tiny bit bigger. Okay, and now I do have an explanation for this one. <laughs> it says Singapore is a fine city. Um, no import of chewing gum. Fine is $1,000. So my stepdad actually went to Singapore to work for three months. Um, he went to Indonesia. And this he brought this back it was like a sign that he brought back he purchased it there and brought it back so i thought that was that was kind of interesting um again more colored drawing just for fun again just kind of messing around um you know drawing small little pictures <laughs> this is supposed to be my sister just for fun um yeah <laughs> my sister and i had six and a half or five and a half years difference between us so we always used to fight um, this was, I think I had a name for this picture, and I can't remember what I called it, but it was called The Hitchhiker, I think. <clears throat> but it was supposed to be a sunset, you know, kind of, maybe not desert area, but, you know, pretty flat landscape with somebody hitchhiking. This was a rose with the colored pencils, like the watercolor pencils. I have no idea what this was about. I don't know why I colored it like this, but I just, you know, playing around. This was a tree. This I actually really like this one. This was really pretty. And this was a complete disaster. I have no idea what this was. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that one. We're just going to go right through. Okay, again, messing around. Unicorn with the colored pencils. Um, this is where I became obsessed. Well, I mean, I've always been obsessed with eyes, but I really started getting into drawing different types of eyes, like dragon eyes and stuff. I thought they were kind of cool looking. A little bit more fantasy stuff here. Um, playing around with a lot of shading is what I was doing, like color shading. Um, and you'll see this as I get into my my um, more intense drawings and paintings. I really play with color. It's, it's exactly like using acrylic. You layer it on top to make a different color. It's kind of what I was doing. 
So I started drawing some girls with eyes because I was obsessed with like women because they had the most perfect mouths and the most perfect eyes and they just were so beautiful. Okay, this was supposed to be The Rock. I read a lot of um, science fiction, so a lot of Piers Anthony. Um, I also read a lot, I'm just going to see what the name of the book was because it's going to drive me crazy. Hold on. Gracelyn. Okay, so I, I brought this up, so I'm going to show you guys when I get there. But yeah, a lot of um, Piers Anthony, so the Xanth novels is kind of where I got this from. This I have no idea what was on my mind, but it was it was kind of scary. I've always been into horror films and scary stuff, so kind of makes sense. A little bit more colored shading here. Um, and then this, if you can believe it, do you guys remember those... Um, uh, what are they called? Sun catchers. Sun catchers that you put on your window and they're kind of like glazed paint and then the sun shines through and shines out. This was one that I had on my window. I still actually have it. So this was supposed to have a white unicorn horn and I forgot. But anyway, that's what the, the sun catcher looks like. Okay, so then this was just like um, an abstract drawing with like a road and a tree. And I was trying to use multiple different colors to make it very abstract. Okay, then again more shading so I love how I used you know just you can see the different colors I love that that was just supposed to be I think um, a wheel uh, color wheels but I didn't follow through there this was a tiger jumping into the page which again didn't finish so again more playing around with color here I was trying to draw um, horses in the different stages of movement so when they're galloping they've got different um, gates. It's, it's really actually hard to draw that um, from scratch. Okay, more playing with color. It's supposed to represent a sunset. <laughs> um, this was, I don't know, a sunset or a sunrise. I don't know. I don't even know where I got that from, but I obviously didn't finish it. Um, this reminded me of Gwyneth Paltrow. I think that's where I got that from. But I wanted to do it on purpose, so I didn't add any color except in the eyes and a little bit on the lips. Okay, this was my horse Coco. I drew this from a picture and it's not very good because it was kind of done in like really rough pencil. But this is what from an actual picture that my dad took of my horse. And I did have it. She was a Palomino. And she was so beautiful. Okay, this. <laughs> yeah, I was seriously having fun here. I, I drew this when Balage was with me. Like we would sit and draw together. And um I, I drew that and pretended it was him. <laughs> uh, okay, I was having fun with some eyes and lips here. And then this is from those um, place or those um, placemats that my dad had um, asked me to draw pictures from. So this is just like a good copy. So I had made it myself a frame. I just I realized in the end I liked having them on bigger paper, and then people liked when they were a bit bigger, so that they could. Um, you know, put them on their wall and see them better. And this book, I couldn't really cut it out without like destroying the page. So I just left it in here. This was another girl. Again, just another girl. I have no idea who these people are. I just drew them for fun. This was supposed to be a rose, but you know what? Now I can draw roses way better than this. Okay, this was another picture um, so this was an actual picture of the Newfoundland Harbor. Um, my stepdad was from Newfoundland and we went back there a couple of times. So my mom had taken this picture and what I had done here is a grid um, technique again. So like you make a grid and then in every part of that grid, you make a grid on the picture as well. And then you just magnify it um, depending on your picture size that you're drawing. And that's what I did here. So that was actually a Newfoundland Harbor. We had to take a, a ferry over because we had our vehicle and that's that's how it looked okay so we're playing around this is a man's eye here um okay here this is the picture this is what i envisioned raceland to look like so raceland is from the dragonlance chronicles by here i'll go back um margaret weiss and tracy hickman so if you guys have heard of the Dragonlance series, this is what I envisioned Raceland to look like, even though he had white hair. He's supposed to look more like that, but 
anyway, I just wanted to show that. <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay. Again, more playing around. I love that eye, by the way. Um, and this too. I, I'm obsessed with purple. Purple is my favorite color. This purple right here is like my all-time favorite color of purple. Love that so, so much. Okay. And then that was it for this book. So this was like still like 1996 and like look how much I have yet to like work in. So I could technically go back in here and start doing some drawing and just, you know, just for fun because I talk about um, drawing right now that I don't have a lot of time and it's totally true. I really don't have very much time. I'm busy with the three kids and doing my business stuff. Um, but if I ever get a chance, I think I might just keep this book out just for fun and, um, you know, just maybe draw something anything it doesn't have to be for a purpose it's just for fun okay so now getting into this bigger book so this was october october 10th 2000 or sorry wow 1998 wow i have to get my bearings here i'm gonna have to zoom out a tiny bit more okay hopefully that's good enough yeah perfect okay so this picture it's not a very good picture but um this is my best friend tressa and this is me. And this is when we were standing in front of her house in Saskatoon on Russell Road. And we were about to go to the Backstreet Boys concert for the very first time. I was so excited. Her grandma had bought us tickets for the Backstreet Boys concert. I think I was, it says 1998. So I was 14, 15 or 16, maybe. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 16 years old is when I went to the Backstreet Boys. But anyway, so that was us. <laughs> Um, this was a horse, kind of like, you'll see this repeating pattern. I draw, love drawing pictures of horses. At least I used to. Okay, um, so this picture, I have no idea who it was supposed to be. I just, you know, decided to draw somebody with green eyes. This was a picture of Jewel. And these were all drawn from scratch, I believe. I'll let you know if there was something that... Um, something that I had inspiration from but so this was just me drawing um I loved this this reminded me again like I, I really wanted to draw a nice picture that was my own instead of like you know looking at something else this was in 1999 so I guess I was 17 there here's another picture 1999 oh yeah I called this Chucky's girlfriend <laughs> Oh yeah, and I started writing how many hours it took me on the back. So this picture here took me two hours. Um, that one, I don't know, let's see. I didn't write anything on the back. Okay, this, I have no idea. I just, I, was, I love drawing girls and women and stuff, so I don't really know what was going on here. Okay, same thing here. Just for fun, this was a little bit more of a rough pencil drawing. And then this is one of those doodles I was telling you guys about before, how I just really enjoyed doing doodle stuff, right? Like me and my best friend Miranda would do this for hours in school, um, just for fun. Here's another one, except if you can notice, if you see the heart here, so I just changed the doodle directions within each of the rainbow like stripes and then made a heart here okay so i wanted to draw something regal here i had called her the italian principessa serena of the house of san de Mon monego i have no idea if i got this from somewhere or if i just made it up pretty sure i made it up um same thing here i just really was apparently obsessed with drawing eyeballs <laughs> okay and then this was going to be a made-up drawing um i wanted to kind of copy the style of like you know kind of like a ship coming in from the harbor um going into to land i don't know if it was newfoundland or what it was but it was something um and then this picture that's coming up next this is actually another picture from my dad's placemat that he gave me and one that i hadn't drawn before in the other books it was a picture of the waterfall here so um this is the first time i think i had drawn this one in particular um this was a made-up one. I was practicing drawing some clouds. Another horse. <laughs> okay, and then this was another of the placemat drawings, but I hadn't finished it. So I think I was in the middle of it, but it was a little bit more of a rougher drawing anyway. So 
hadn't, hadn't finished it completely. Okay, this was supposed to be another drawing of a man's eye. I think I got this from a magazine. I think I just took some, some man in a magazine and just drew his eye. <laughs> Again, another girl. This was July 10th, 1999. This was a horse, obviously. <laughs> um, Meredith Monroe. So she's a famous actress, and I can't remember why I decided to draw her, but this was her. This eye was a little messed up, but you know what? Not too bad, right? For, I think it was 17 here. This was a wolf. I think this was taken from that drawing book. I think. I can't quite remember. I think it was. I, think, I know this one was because I had drawn it before. I think this is just a little bit of a better rendition of it. And I think this might have been when I started finding my, like I've got this spray that protects a page and makes the pencil or the graphite from transferring to other services. I think that's when I started finding that. Okay, another girl. Another picture just for fun. <laughs> I hope you guys can see these well enough. Okay, again, just kind of playing around. Um, a man's eye, a woman's eye. These were, I think these were men's lips. This might have been a girl's lips. I don't really know. I'm doing some coloring fun here. Another eyeball. Um, I tried using those pencils again to do like a, a seascape with the sunset. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is a much better picture. I realize I did not give my aunt the picture because it's in this book right now. So if you guys remember the first video I filmed, I had drawn a picture of my aunt and my uncle for their wedding picture. This is what they actually look like, and this one is so much better. So I'll, I'll show you guys. So much better. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see. There. So much better. Okay. And then the one behind, I'm also super, super proud of it. This is a picture of me and my mom when I was a baby. Um, and... Yeah, this is like exactly what it looks like. Okay, like it might, well, I, I, I truly think it's exactly what it looks like. I'm obsessed. <laughs> what do you guys think? Oops, I have, I'm cutting my mom out of the picture. This was it. So amazing. I loved it. That was me. Aren't I cute? I was pretty proud of this picture. So this was in the year 2000. So I was 18. Um, this was July 19th. 2000 so yeah so I we were in New Brunswick when I drew this I believe um I was 18 just turned pretty proud of that and then this was a picture of my grade grade 8 photo I believe okay and then I drew starting to draw a man there another fun picture but for some reason I don't know why I used pencil here and not color because I used color on the rest of it Okay, this was supposed to be a squirrel. This was another of those um, pictures from the labyrinth. I love that. This was even better than the last one I drew. And then, yeah, this was supposed to be a cave woman. Don't mind the toplessness. And then this was supposed to be the start of another um, kind of like Ocean Harbor picture from the placemats my dad gave me. I did not finish it, obviously. Okay, another fun picture. This one was just a tiger walking into the picture. This was supposed to be Britney Spears. Um, I was doing another grid drawing, but I did not finish. And this was a rainbow unicorn. I was obsessed with unicorns, like Pegasi and unicorns and everything. This was 2001, so I was 19 here. Okay. Okay. And now this, um, I don't know if I have any other pictures after this one. Let me just double check here. I'll show you anything else before this picture because I'm kind of obsessed with this picture. So this is just another fun drawing picture here. Um, there is nothing here. I don't know why I skipped a whole bunch of pages. So I'm just kind of working backwards now because I'm saving one of the best in this book for last. 
this was just like um, like a crystal ball. Like she was like a magician lady, I think, is what I was drawing. And then the very last picture I drew. So this is when I really became serious about um, colored pencils. I did not use the watercolor pencils for this drawing. This was like Prismacolor, I believe. Um, and Prismacolor I found were the best. And it wasn't the Scholar. They were like a little bit better than like actual Scholar read. It was something something better. Can't remember. You couldn't find them at um, at Walmart, but. Um, I find that if you get Crayola, they're too much of a waxy consistency. So I had to use something, a pencil lead that was a bit softer. Um, in recent years, so I'm thinking the last like five years, or maybe it was the last 10 years, I bought Faber-Castell pencils and they have the softest um, fibers that you can use to do paint, like pictures like this. And this is the artist for the life of me. I got it from a magazine. I cannot remember the artist's name, but I did draw, like I, I, I redrew the artist's work. So it's not exactly the same as his. Um, and his is like a, a digital print. So it's not like um, he didn't, he might have drawn it from scratch at the beginning, but he actually did it like digitally. But I colored mine in colored pencil. Um, and this is, I did do a, a bigger picture of it and I framed it. I'll show you guys that eventually. But this is what it looks like. And this is kind of what has captured me um, and has kind of gotten me into these types of pictures. So yes, I drew this from scratch by looking at a picture. Um, it is not the same as the original by any means, but it looks pretty darn good from this point of view right here. Like I'm pretty impressed with this. Um, I am obsessed with like drawing pictures like this with like the beautiful like tropical leaves, tropical flowers, um, birds in the picture. And in the rest, I think it'll be the third video because I think I'm going to stop this video here. Um, but I have a couple of art books that are even bigger. So I might have to lay them on the floor because they won't fit on my desk. I'll lay them on the floor and show you guys. There is going to be fewer and fewer pictures now. So there might only be one more video after this. I just have to kind of organize myself and get it done. But this is like where I'm going with my pictures. Um, I'm also using a lot more finer pencil lead so instead of that rough pencil drawing that you've seen in previous pictures my pictures are a lot more finely detailed so I've got a lot more coming <laughs> in those books so I'll show you guys next time but thank you for joining me on this and if you have any questions about any of the materials I use um, I guess the materials I used to use back in these days were a lot different than what I would use now. But I would love to share that with you guys if you are curious and you're a fellow artist or um, you're interested in getting into drawing or painting. So this picture was drawn March 7th, 2002. Um, 2002, I would have been 20. Yeah, I was 20 years old when I drew this. So still 21 years ago. <laughs> still a very long time ago. I can't believe it's actually been that long. But I can't wait to show you guys my next work, like all of my next stuff, because I've got a lot. There is a lot coming. So thank you guys so much for checking this video out. If you are new, please consider subscribing. Click on the bell notification to receive updates when I post new content. And give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, friends.